Good evening everyone and uh, welcome to a little bit of a walk around. It would have been live but the signal here in Adaki and in Del Duque absolutely awful. We tried to do a live stream, just kept cutting out every five minutes so we've decided to come off and do a filmed one. Um, so if you did see that thank you very much for tuning into this one. Uh, but we're going to walk around Del Duque, Costa Adaki, um, see what's going on, enjoy a bit of the sunset, show you guys how busy it is as well. In general, Tenerife is still pretty busy at the moment. Uh, so let's take a wander around, show you the views and uh, stride on. So yeah, the signal in this area is always difficult, but tonight was uh, really poor. And I'm surprised as well, because it's just so clear today. I'm surprised it was poor. Maybe it is the wind. It is a little bit breezier tonight this evening. You've got plenty of people down there on the beach. Uh, people going out on the jet skis, banana boat. It is stunning down here with that sunset. It's about the fourth day in a row now we've had clear blue skies like this, which is nice. We've got the Moon Restaurant. Never tried it, always busy though in there. Always looks quite nice. Tony Romas, which reopened a couple of months ago. I'm gonna head down towards this this way. Is it the Moonlight Bar everyone always asks yeah. about? We'll try and show you the Moonlight Bar, see if that is back open. That wasn't open last time we were here, so we'll see. Ooh, it's nice cakes there. Look at this cake. Oof, look at that. That's like a three, three tier chocolate. Oh, it's a brandy cake. Oh, it's like three chocolate, that. And look at that one as well. Oh, nice. Tempting, but we're going to keep walking. Burn off some calories. My diet started today. I'm doing dry January. Laura's doing dry January. I'm going to do the same, even though we don't drink that much anyway. It's not exactly hard. I need to do a no chocolate January. That would be uh, yeah. a bit more difficult the for me. Today I've downloaded my fitness pal to track myself. So I might, uh, we'll stay on the top level and we'll cut down the beach in a moment. See what the, what's going on with some of these restaurants up here first. A lot of the restaurants as well, we went out last night to uh, Vegas Grill again. We've been there twice this week, loved it. We went with Incredible Wilson's. And uh, a lot of the restaurants are doing, or we're doing, reduced menus, weren't they? Yeah. For the busy nights like Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, they were like special reduced menus, so less choices. It shows how busy the restaurants are. Every single one was full last night. We had to have some... <laughs> they pulled a few strings to get us in in Vegas Grill, didn't they? Yeah. They did very kindly get us a table, so a big shout out to them. Uh, Vegas Grill looked after us as always, but the whole of Safari Centre, everyone was just absolutely fully packed to the brim for uh, New Year's Day dinner. Everyone glued to the football. Uh, the Everton, Liber uh, not Everton, Liverpool Chelsea game is on. So a lot of people enjoying that. Would you say this is as busy as Los Cristianos, Laura? I think this is a little bit quieter from what I saw yesterday. If anyone saw my live stream on Saturday, uh, walking from Los Cristianos into Las Americas, it was a little bit busier than this, I'd say, so far. No. It was a lovely, gorgeous uh, day yesterday, same as today. Let me just quickly show you this view. And uh, all day yesterday and today, especially at sunset, we'll see it when it goes down in a little while. You could see all three islands all day yesterday. Uh, you can't quite see El Hierro yet, but I think when the sun goes down, you can. Then you've got La Gamera there, and you can see La Palma as well, if I just zoom in a bit. It's slightly hazy, but you can see all three, especially when the sun goes a bit lower. We'll uh, check back in with that shortly when the sun goes down a little bit. Plenty of people down on the beach there. Champolines back open. 
great to see. I'm gonna keep walking along. I'm gonna try, I'm trying to stay on just to um, make it a bit easier to upload for you guys for editing purposes. I'm not gonna keep cutting in and out if I can. I'm just gonna stay on as if it was a live stream, but it's not. <laughs> Feels a bit strange because I can normally turn it around and show my face, but I can't. I hope you enjoy it anyway. If you are enjoying it, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up as well. Really does help uh, the channel. We're very close to 28,000 subscribers at the moment. So uh, if you do enjoy it, consider subscribing. We normally would be doing this as a live stream, but you can blame the Tenerife signal for that. Oh, that labrasserie smells nice, Laura. And then looking at that burger as well, looks nice. That's making me hungry. Charcoal grill. I can smell it. If I had smell a vision guys, it smells lovely, that. Yeah, a little... I'm not going to do that tonight, though, are we? We should do it, though. We have bought one of those portable barbecues months ago we've never used it need to do one bit of chicken bit of sausage burgers yeah oh yeah uh, mamma mia closed there no signs of life in there still all closed up looks like champions is still closed as well next door no signs of life in there either I can see the Moonlight Pub is open from here. I can see people in there enjoying a drink. So I'll take you up and show you that. Maybe a little bit of work going on. Maybe it's getting taken over. Yeah. Maybe. We'll find out. It's been empty for a long while. And maybe the, yeah, it looks like the, uh, that's the electricity company. I've maybe given them a notice. Yeah, that's the electric company. So it looks like this unit here, it looks like Champions is finished, in my opinion. I think Champions and and uh, possibly Mamma Mia as well, I think both of them are finito. Methinks. <laughs> Especially if they haven't been paying their electric bill, as they say. It could be something completely different. It could be just a notice saying we're doing electric work, but I don't think so. I'm not on again till... But yes, this bar here, we've never been in, but I know a lot of you viewers absolutely love it. The Moonlight Bar. I'll quickly pop up and show you that. Looks nice and busy up there. Might just try and stop for a drink in a minute, maybe. We'll see. Just gonna walk down to the beachfront now, see what's going on on the front level. Now this one here always looks quite nice. We should come here one day. Waves, love the hammock chairs. Always seems to have good music going on. And you get a gorgeous view of the beach and the sunset from there. So we'll have to try that one day, Laura, I think. That one there, Waves, always looks nice, doesn't it? Try that one day. We'll uh, scoot up these stairs. Quickly go back up to the top. Hey. 
So I'm going to ask you viewers a question now, and you as well, Laura. So, viewers and Laura, what is the best beach in Tenerife? You think? So Laura's saying Las Vistas or Del Duque. Hello. Las Vistas because it's nice and close. Yeah. Del Duque because it's got the nice beds. Yeah, Del, yeah, I like the aspect of Del Duque. But I'm not that fussed on the sand. On the sand is bothered me. Mm. But then on Las Vistas, all the bars, the back of the shops. Yeah. Del Duque is a bit tricky, isn't it? I quite like that new one that's, well, the one that they've done up a bit after Las Vistas. Is it El Camason? Oh, yeah. That new I quite one, like yeah. that one. Let me know in the comments, guys, what is your favorite beach? And maybe this week we'll go and video the beach that's commented the most, maybe. There's a deal for you. Get commenting. I'm gonna talk over the music. And we're gonna head up these stairs. A little bit of exercise, Laura. Just a little bit, we need it. Ah, we need it. I don't know if everyone else, I'm sure you'll all agree. We've, we've eaten way too much over Christmas. And with going to Florida as well, yeah. Got to start a bit of a diet. Just not getting into the clues right now. Always eat too much at Christmas. That's what Christmas is for, isn't it? Yeah, too much chocolate, too much sweets. Got to do a little bit more walking, a bit more exercise now. Because you said they're going to start doing another night now, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit more walking around, especially now it's cooler. We've got no excuse, have we? No. I thought we were going to go up the steps and prefer to go up this nice... Uh, wooden walkway instead. Yep. I'm gonna let you enjoy that view as well for a second. Waves crashing in. Just bringing in the jet skis there from the day. Now, the reason they tow out the jet skis, I'm sure a lot of you already know, uh, but a lot of people go, well, why, why do they tow the jet skis out and leave them out there? Is it just easier? It's not that it's easier. It's because to get in and out of any port, you've got to have a license, a personal license. A personal license. So the tourists can't drive the jet skis through the port. That's why they'll tow them out and out at sea. You don't have to have a license. They can get away with it. Um, but if you want to drive it into the port, you've got to have a personal license. So that's why they tow the jet skis out, if anyone was interested. And you can see they're going to be bringing in the fly fish and the banana boat as well there. A little bit of a fun fact for you, for the people that might not have known that or wondered why they have the jet skis out quite often. Yeah. So we're going to walk up to the top. Have a look at the Blue Cactus, another very popular bar uh, with you viewers. Uh, Andy Chat, I know you love this bar as well. You've got Kaluna Beach is uh, fully open there as well. People enjoying a bit of Kaluna. And personally, not my scene, but I know a lot of people love it. And you can see just how clear it's been today. It's been like this, no word of a lie, for four days not a single cloud in the sky if i zoom in over there you can see we've got the paragliding going on it's just been absolutely stunning out here the last few days the best festive period we've had weather wise laura yeah yeah so uh made up with the weather this year and for anyone who's visiting who's made the effort to come over even better made up for all you guys enjoying the sun i uh, just want to mention as well uh, you will have seen on the channel if you watched the last couple of videos the incredible wilsons were over now on the last live stream on my birthday they messaged laura and were like oh what do you think should we book last minute laura said yes they got over here, no problem. They booked at 8 p.m. that night, flew the following day at 9 a.m. And they were here, they were here by, in the hotel by 4. Here in the hotel by 4, no problems at all. They've just enjoyed a lovely four days. They flew back today. They had no problem getting a test. 30 euros to fly home with. Yeah. No problems at all. Spot it took them, there. I think, three quarters of an hour to get a test. 
So if anyone's thinking, oh, should I come over? It sounds a nightmare. They booked last minute. They came for four days, had an absolute blast and had no problems at all getting the tests and things. Yeah. It was a doddle. Yeah. And we had a great time with them. So if you're watching, Gaz, I'll uh, be racing you again on those ocean carts very soon. Tried this one on the channel a few weeks ago, Laura. Diane D'Angelo. I remember eating here. Because uh, I was while we were eating here, I was... I'd been looking that day at maybe booking Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now it's been and gone. Oh. Been and gone. Sad times. This one always interests me as well. Gelato Fortuna. You can spin the wheel and see what ice cream you end up with. Do you want an ice cream, Laura? No, I'm dying. <laughs> yes, checking your temptation. <laughs> I'm day one of the diet. I'm trying to tempt her in with ice cream. <laughs> now we're going to head right the way back along and finish the vlog off uh, at Del Duque area. That's where the signal is always the the least good um, for the live stream. So we're going to finish it off at Del Duque and show you that beach. So we'll be on for a little while longer. We're going to walk all the way back along, enjoying the views as we go. A few people did ask me about Elvis Bar. It is fully open. We were just chatting to a subscriber there before we started the video and uh, they had been last night. It's closed now, but it was open last night. They enjoyed it. Uh, he has to sing inside. He's not allowed to sing outside, she said, uh, but it was busting in here. Great night. So the Elvis bar is back on and Elvis is singing as well. And uh, here's Ali Hop. <laughs> this shop just sells all kinds of different things stocking fillers gadgets all kinds of different things oh kitchenware now we've got waffle makers it's that chocolate fountain there laura nice okay you'll see them those shops everywhere the uh, alley hop There's another restaurant that's on our list to try eventually, the Amalfi. Views are spectacular and the menu does look nice. Italian, steaks, all different uh, breads. It's going to be one to try. Chicken, beef, fish, pasta, pizza. So it is one to try that. We've just got to check about gluten free, Laura. But uh, it looks stunning inside. You've got gorgeous views as you can see. Hello. Look at that for a view. And we will keep an eye on that sunset, don't worry. So we're going to walk back along the beach this time. Hope you are enjoying the video. It is unusual for me not to be doing this live. So I hope you are enjoying it in this format just for now. Hopefully next time the signal will be better for a live. As I said at the time, we, we've just come back from Florida and I did a couple of live streams in Florida and they were brilliant because they had 5G internet speed streaming and the, the live streams for, for you viewers was much better. You could watch in HD, but here you struggle to get 3G a lot of the time, never mind 4G, never mind 5G. They just haven't got that infrastructure here on the island, unfortunately. Especially if the weather's poor, if it's raining or it's cloudy, the signal's just no good, is it? No. You struggle, don't you? So let's keep an eye on some of these bars as we walk along. See what's open, see if anything's been taken over or changed hands. It'll be interesting to see who does take over Champions and Mamma Mia because they are two very big units. Prime real estate. Gorgeous sunsets from up there. It's going to have to be a, to be a very yeah, good restaurant that can fill it. It's a big, big unit, that. Diane's Bar. Busy and popular in there. And 
and then you can hear the music just down here at the beach club that's just a little bit of a you can hear the bass down there I'm gonna try and show you both views <laughs> it is like yeah it does sound like a bit of a big beach party Uh, just to mention as well, a lot of people asking me about restrictions. They mentioned on my live stream yesterday, can't see anyone wearing masks. It's not being enforced. No one knows what they're meant to be doing. Uh, me personally, I'm just staying responsible and I'm putting mine on if I can't keep the distance. Uh, but I must say, I've not seen any police around. I've not seen anyone enforcing any rules. Um, it's still the same with some bars and restaurants. Uh, some of the restaurants are asking for a COVID passport, some of them aren't, so I, I just I couldn't tell you what is going on, it's so unclear, I've not, we've not had any, anything like this before in terms of rules, it just seems to be a bit of a free-for-all, someone mentioned as well, you know, that they're saying that the government have just done it as a bit of a make themselves look good sort of thing, but it's not actually been enforced, I couldn't I couldn't tell you, but I mean, as you can see, no one is wearing masks outside. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I've been here through the whole pandemic, all the rules, I've followed all the rules, but right now I just couldn't tell you what is going on. They tried to bring in a curfew on uh, New Year's Eve. That got thrown out of court, they said no. So, I and then uh, they, I will say as well, we didn't go, but uh, someone was telling me, a client was telling me the fireworks were on at Del Duque and it was like full shoulder to shoulder, no police, no nothing. Hello. Um, and it was just full to the brim. There was no, and no one was wearing masks and... It's not safe. I, I just, I don't... They didn't advertise the fireworks. I, even I didn't know they were going on, but they happened. It was, from what the guy said, very full. They left. So, make of make of that what you will. Let me know in the thoughts, in, in the comments. Oh, nice dog. Hello. But for now, I'm going to move on from that. And I'm uh, going to enjoy the rest of this sunset and the rest of this walk. I hope you do, do enjoy it. Do, do. <laughs> I hope you do, do enjoy it. <laughs> I won't edit that out. I'll leave it in. But if you are enjoying it, hit the thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe as well. We should hit 28,000 subscribers this week, which would be fantastic. Well on the way to 30, where we'll do a big giveaway on 30,000. In general, busy, not as busy as Los Cristianos, I'd say, but busy. Nice atmosphere. Yeah. The weather does help the weather the last few days. I can't even, I don't keep saying it, but it's been absolutely amazing. Well, I knew you took my jacket out with me. I was fully expecting to have it on by night, and I didn't put it on to walk and And then I got boiling then. Yeah, it was hot. It was warm enough to just be out at night in just a t-shirt, shorts. At the beach club, another beach club bopping away there. Bottles of champagne on ice, Le Club. bit too boom boom for me let me know if you've been here in the comments as well a bit too noisy for me Loch Ness over there we've enjoyed we've got a video on that on the channel we've enjoyed it in there before looks full hopefully I don't get a strike for the boom boom music <laughs> Limoncello, a lot of people mentioned that to me as well, it's meant to be good. Another one I've never tried. Limoncello. So we do need to cut up in a second and then start heading up. We're going to try and catch this sunset further down, so we'll motor on and uh, try and catch a good view of the sunset more towards Del Duque. I'll quickly show the rest of these. We've got the Winchester further down, and then we'll cut up the steps. Fanya Base Song.
a lot of people ask about the Winchester, very popular as you can see. Full in there, Liverpool game on. Scoot up these steps here and go and catch the rest of this sunset. Gonna walk up these ones, it's a little bit quicker. Gonna talk over the music as well. It's one thing we have to watch with YouTube is the music. Talk over that. Do you like the way they've got the plants growing over the ceiling in that one? I'm gonna go and catch this sunset now. Back where we started. Oh, this guy's even brought his deck chair out. It's a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Lovely view of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly do a time lapse of this and I will catch you in a moment and you can enjoy a time lapse of this sunset. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that bit of a uh, sunset there. Got the Royal Delphin heading in. Gonna move around now back towards Del Duque. And I'm gonna try and show you, there's like a little bit of a wave blow hole that goes on just a bit further down here. I wanna show you. See if we can catch it going off. And uh, great view right back down over Fania Bay Beach down there. Even though the sun has gone down, it's still a gorgeous sky as you can see. Guys singing away here. And just over here is what I was talking about. I'll see if I can catch it when it goes off. It's uh, really good, it's really cool actually. Really interesting. And I'm going to show you as well, you can now see El Hierro a bit more pronounced now the sun has gone down. So you can see all three islands today. And wait for this. Look at the gorgeous sky colour that. Gorgeous day, gorgeous time to be on one of these boats just going out. It's down here, there's a bit of a, probably won't go off for me now. Yeah, it's a bit of a, see, oh. ah, there you go, see, went off. I've never seen that. Yeah. I'm gonna, just gonna quickly show you, you can see the outline of El Hierro if I zoom in. Literally just here. And there you go, it's going off there. I'm gonna zoom in for a second. See, it's, it's cordoned off, I think, so people can't, Go near it. <laughs> it won't go off for ages now, you watch. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Now I've got the camera on it, off the tap it. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed this before. This is the first time I've noticed it. I think the tide has got to be quite far out, like it is tonight, to notice it. There you go. There you go. That was good. So yeah, let me know if you've ever noticed this here. I think you don't. It doesn't normally go off unless the tide is right. I've honestly never noticed that going on before. But uh, lovely, especially with the sunset behind it. 
Hey, we're going to keep on walking now back towards Del Duque before we round off uh, this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you do hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment as well. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, also subscribe if you want news. Loads of videos on the channel. Excursions, news updates, all kinds. Yeah, we're having a holiday at all. This thing. Just going to show you now the uh, Del Duque beach. See how busy it is down here. Looks nice and vibrant. Again, not been down here for probably a couple of months now. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. Been a while. So see how busy it is down here. Gorgeous skyline and sunset though. It just goes on forever. The uh, orange sky, stunning. And it does say on there that it's 20 degrees, it says on the sign over there. If I can just zoom in, try and show it. There you go, you can just about see it says 20. 20 degrees for a decky. Lovely and warm. And it's the same again forecast for tomorrow and Tuesday. And then we're getting a slight cloud on Wednesday. So we've got two more days of this, hopefully. Great to have this restaurant back open. This was closed for a good while, La Hacienda. Good to have that back open. So guys, that is going to conclude tonight's little walk around, failed live video. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Oh, just in it out here tonight, absolutely stunning. The plane flying over, I hope you did enjoy that. And uh, hopefully next time, Signal will be strong enough to do it as a live stream. Uh, thank you all very much. We'll see you uh, again soon. Don't forget, Florida vlogs are going up every week as well now. So enjoy those too. And, uh, it's going to be it, isn't it? Just drive on. <laughs>